Hello everybody, my name is Stephen Bird and welcome back to part three of our five part series on moving from Lightorama to Xlights. Uh, in this part, uh, we're going to go ahead and show you guys how to do connecting to Lightorama to Xlights via a USB dongle. Uh, but before we even start with that, uh, in between videos, uh, I decided to go and make up a small mega tree uh, like I do in my Christmas show, and I have one that is a full LED uh, mega tree. Uh, again, I just went down to the string type and put single color on there, and now it is a 16 channel mega tree. Uh, so now with that, uh, we're going to go ahead and move to a different camera, which I will be showing you guys my setup in here, uh, and I'll show you guys how to go and connect it up via USB. Hey guys, so we are now back here. Um, and this is on the actual setup here, uh, so we've come away from the computer now. Uh, and basically you'll see uh, over here on the left side I have my Falcon controller, and then I actually had to switch over to a Gen 2 uh, controller. And so there's really no difference uh, other than maybe a few firmware things, but I have not had to mess with this since it was purchased quite a while ago. Um, but other than that, works all about the same. Uh, so basically I also switched the USB over uh, to, I've actually moved over to my Christmas setup, and the only difference there is that I have changed this to an LOR Optimize. It's COM4 instead of COM3, same baud rate, same universe, just number of channels. This is how uh, my personal show is for Christmas. Uh, so basically I'm running this out of the side of the Alienware, uh, and it comes over here through the RSJ485 adapter and comes into the Letterama Gen 2 controller. As you can see here, just into the normal, it just goes from the computer to here, just like in a regular Lightorama network. Uh, now the Falcon, which is what we'll be going into in just a little while, um, whenever we run it off of the Falcon controller, uh, works just a little bit different. Uh, but right now the Falcon is completely irrelevant in what we're doing right now. Uh, this is just a simple test coming to the Lightorama controller. Now I've already set up a small sequence here, and if I move in to this one right here, you'll see that these are actually some house lights that I have um, on the overall layout. Uh, and like I said, it's the exact same. I've changed it. If I go into here, you will see right underneath here. And I'll have it on single color. So it works the exact same way, just on single color. And you'll see that it is on channel 7 to 7, so one channel. If we go into sequencer here. Now, like I said before, uh, whenever you test these lights, it will give you an error message if it is not plugged up. And all it will say is trying to output through COM3 or COM4, whatever COM it's trying to output, but cannot do it. So you have to figure out what's going on there. So basically, I'll just go on up and I will click Output to Lights. And you will see from the sudden illumination of green that it is outputting through the Light Aroma controller as, such, right, as seen right there. And the LED goes uh, dark, it goes complete red, that's not blinking anymore. Um, and I'm not sure I believe the Gen 3 works about the same way. Um, in my show, I use a lot of Gen 2s. I have only one Gen 3 in there right now. Uh, and basically, it works a lot like this. Uh, so it'll go uh, just normal, not blinking red. And that means it is receiving a signal. So that will about do it for here for connecting through USB. And I think that'll just about do it for this part. So I will see you guys in the next part there. Hope this is been helping out and I will see you guys in the next part. Thanks so much.